was thinking of getting a nice ice cold glass of lemonade and just chugging it down so that the mic can pick up the swallowing sounds of lemon water going down. But, well, you know, I find that is kind of a gross sound. So I thought I would spare you that. And secondly, the temperatures are not really there for lemonade. More like hot tea with lemon. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. Cleaning our orchids. Some are better at it than others. <laughs> I'm one of those, uh, yeah, well, indoor, outdoor growers. When I have the opportunity, I clean my orchids. The thing is with orchids, it's very easy to clean the leaves very quickly with a nice damp towel and be done with it. But sometimes we get crusties, especially when we get new orchids in. There is fertilizer residue on the leaves and especially on Phalaenopsis. And we see that a lot on our beautiful species fowls with the glossy green leaves. Then we need to do a cleanup because, you know, we can't have it that way. My little Phalaenopsis here is not crusted up because I did clean it on its first arrival. It is dusty, but for the purposes of showing you what you can do with lemon juice and cleaning your orchids, I am just going to use this one as an example, and I'll show you my Renanthera monachica after we've done this one really, really quickly. Now, you can use plain, pure, fresh lemon juice to do this. I prefer not to. And we will also get into what else lemon juice is good for, and I'll show you the pH of my lemon juice. We'll go through all that in the second part of this video. So. I always prefer actually to go half and half. Now this may not get all the crusties out in one go if the crusties are so bad that they are really, really locked onto the leaves, but at least we are safe that the orchid is not going to suffer from the excess acid on the leaves. So basically, pretty simple, wipe the leaves down, and usually one application is enough, even with a 50-50% diluted lemon juice concentration. But if need be, after a couple of days, a spot treatment might be necessary, but at least your orchid is safe. Now, thankfully, most of us only get crusties on the top of the leaves, so we don't even have to address the bottom of the leaves. And this looks pretty wet. I could make it a much drier, but I do have a breezeway here my phalaenopsis are going to dry before the end of the day. So here's the thing. Wiping the underside of the leaves is always considered a no-no. Know the underside of your leaves. Phalaenopsis stomata open at night. So if you have to clean the underside of your leaves, do that during the day so that the orchid can dry out if it is absolutely not avoidable. Personally, I try to avoid it as much as possible unless I have an orchid dripping with happy sap and that has to come off because it is a pest risk. But if you can avoid wiping the underside of your leaves, it's best practice because you don't want to clog up the cell structure behind there and wiping them would do that even though we think we're doing a great job. But if you have to, make sure with Phalaenopsis that you do it during the day so that the stomata are closed because they will open at night and then at least they won't be affected with you putting any kind of product, lemon juice or water into them that they can't handle. Now, secondly, at this point in time, if you've cleaned your Phalaenopsis, do not expose it to high light when using lemon juice. We know that Phalaenopsis shouldn't be in direct sun anyway, but our summer fowls, they really, really like a lot of high light. Not when you've just used lemon juice. It's cheap, it's effective, it's efficient, but it's acidic as well. So don't expose it to high light until the leaves have completely dried off and then put it back on its shelf. Let them dry out. I've seen some people put their orchids out into the sun and then they blamed it on the lemon juice, but it was actually sunburn. So there is a massive, massive difference. Good light, good airflow, yes, but high light at this stage, no. Let them dry out and then put them back where they belong. Now, let me show you my Renanthera monachica here. She has been in my collection for a year now, and you can see that she still has crusties on her, but these are the crusties that she came with when she first arrived in my collection, and trust me, she was much worse. Much, much worse. Now, she has a little bit of a sturdier leaf, and I could go with full-on pure lemon juice because of her leaf structure. It's much, much more sturdy, but why do that? just in case it's a bit too much and I misjudge the acidity and how it could affect my leaves. So over the time frame since I've had her, I have gone in with a Q-tip and gone and directly addressed crusties 
and just bit by bit remove them. Also the same thing, the underside of the leaves, I don't touch those. I just go along the edge and for that reason I'm using a Q-tip because it's much more targeted because I don't have the whole leaf to address. And I know where my spots are. And this may need another application, maybe one more application before it is completely gone. Know that this residue is not detrimental to the health of your orchid. It's just an aesthetic thing, to be honest. We like clean leaves. Again, some more than others. <laughs> I'm a bit impartial to that. I know that it would be ideal in the winter to keep your leaves as clean as possible, simply because, you know, the light is weaker for those of us who are growing mainly outdoors. But still, target with a Q-tip, go for the spots that have still got crusties on it and know that maybe you're gonna have to do it again, but still, you're staying on the safe side by diluting your lemon juice. And for me, worst case scenario is my lack of judgment. So I'm safe with a 50-50 concentration and doing this repeatedly over the course of several months and eventually those crusties will be gone. So there's that. Now, what else is our lemon juice good for? Mm-hmm, <laughs> you say, aha. Uh -huh. Let's go on to the second half of this video. Right, so let's move on to what our lemon juice can do when it comes to using it as a pH down. It is an acid, citric acid, and an industrial pH down is exactly the same thing, but in super high concentrations. My RO water comes out at seven at this point in time. And usually I wouldn't need a pH down if I'm just watering or flushing my orchids with plain RO water. Because if I add my fertilizer, for example, into my RO water, the fertilizer itself will also act as a pH down. So it's not always necessary to be using pH down, with the exception of if you want to go lower than 6.5 pH. And lemon juice is fantastic when it comes to having to mix only small batches of nutrient solution. Maybe you have a small collection and you don't need a bucket full of nutrient solution to deal with your orchids. An industrial pH down is great when you work with big batches, full buckets, two or three buckets in a day. You won't need as much because of the higher, higher concentration, but for small batches of nutrient solution, a liter, two liters, maybe even three liters, lemon juice is much, much better and so much easier to control. Know that also lemon juice has potassium in it. So yes, it is a benefit to the orchid with a little bit of added potassium. The traces are minute because we are only talking one or two drops to pH down. If your fertilizer solution hasn't already done the job for you, but also know that potassium is only absorbed at a pH of 6.5 and up. So if you're using lemon juice as a pH down and you want to get your pH lower than 6.5, know that the potassium uptake from using lemon juice is so minimal because it is going lower than the nutrient uptake of 6.5, which is ideal for the potassium to function. This is specifically about using lemon juice as a pH down for small batches. So I have pure lemon juice right here. I have my pH meter here, which has already switched off. But in the back, in this glass, I have plain RO water so I can clean out my pH meter. So just as an idea to show you how low lemon juice goes in pH, I hope that the display shows you that. So we're at 2.9 pH of lemon juice, plain lemon juice. That's pretty, pretty acidic for lack of a better term. I am not gonna do the same with the industrial pH down because I tried that once and my pH meter went nuts and I thought I had broken it. So trust me, this is so highly concentrated that when it comes to trying to pH down a small batch of nutrient solution, you're gonna have a really, really hard time to get the right, right pH when it comes to small batches. My pH meter is stuck at 3.3 inside my RO water that had a pH of 7 and it is totally stuck at 3. So I hope I haven't messed up this pH meter. There's only one way to find out. Let's switch it off. Now, this is the same RO water that was in here and I'm going to put in just one drop of lemon juice. 
just one. I'm gonna rinse my pipette out <laughs> in more plain RO water because I don't want that lemon juice to be in my pH down. And I'm also gonna just put one drop of the industrial pH down into this little container here. Just one, right. <laughs> Let's rinse out the pipette one more time because <laughs> yeah, stuff is aggressive. And if you were wondering why my pipette looks a little bit frazzled at the tip, Siliano decided it might be a nice toy to chew on. So still functional though. Now let's give both of these a stir and see how the one drop of industrial pH has affected my water and compare it to what the one drop of pure lemon juice has done and what the result is of the pH in that water. I'm not gonna bore you with watching the pH meter do its thing, but I'll let you know the end result once it's stabilized. Starting point of this was 7.0. For a moment, it went down to 6.6, .6, but then when it steadied out, it was back up to seven in the plain RO water. That is my margin. So after sloshing this around for a little bit, you can see the one drop of lemon is fluctuating my pH between 6.3 and 6.4, 6.2 and so on and so forth. The purpose of the demonstration is to see how gently we can reduce the pH of our nutrient solution in small batches with a drop or two of lemon, depending what we want, as opposed to going for the really, really aggressive one drop of the industrial pH down. And we are already way too low for our comfort of the orchid roots. So you see where I'm getting at. In a nutshell, lemon juice is amazing as a gentle pH down for small batches of nutrient solutions. So you don't have this going on one drop. This is not the ideal pH range for our orchids, but lemon juice is much, much gentler. So there's that. And my regular RO pH is still way below as well from having submerged my pH meter into pure lemon juice. But anyway, the point was small batches of nutrient solution, lemon juice. Know that you're using it as a pH down. If you want the potassium to be absorbed, keep your pH above 6.5. Otherwise, just use the lemon juice as a help, a gentle pH down when you are mixing your nutrient solution in small batches, especially if you have a small collection. So I really hope that this was helpful, that the benefits of lemon juice for our orchids is not just for cleaning the leaves, but also using it as a pH down for small batches of nutrient solution. If you have any other tips with regards to lemon juice and our orchids, please let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate any additional information that you can provide us with, and I thank you for it in advance. Wishing you a beautiful rest of your day on one condition though, that you stay safe and take care. Bye.